Shalom. This week's Torah portion is called Parshat Nitzavim. Nitzavim always precedes Rosh Hashanah. There's a hint in the first Pasuk. Atem Nitzavim Hayom Kulchem Lefnei Havai Al Kechem Before God our Lord. Standing. What does it mean? Standing in judgment. The idea of uh, the last few days before Rosh Hashanah, which is this coming Sunday night, is to think about our relationship to Hashem. To, to judge us, to, to, to examine ourselves that uh, before Rosh Hashanah uh, we should be able to stand proudly in judgment uh, 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 having done tshuva, having repented, having returned uh, from all of our negative deeds. There's something special about this Shabbos though. It's very interesting. What's the idea of Rosh Hashanah? As I wrote in my Shabbos, in my Rosh Hashanah blessing, Rosh Hashanah means the head of the year. Why is it called the head of the year, not the beginning of the year? Because just like the head controls the body, just like the head has every aspect of the body represented in it, so also Rosh Hashanah is the head of the year, had every part of the year represented in the beginning of the year. How we behave on Rosh Hashanah affects the entire year. And therefore, it's really important before Rosh Hashanah uh, to, to think about not only to, to judge ourselves, to examine ourselves, but also to, to plan how Rosh Hashanah is going to be. Because the more organized it is, the more organized the year is going to be. There's a secret. What's the secret to succeed on Rosh Hashanah? So it says in the Zohar, the first text of Kabbalah, that on Parshish B'Shalach, it says, Mineam is kul from the Shabbat are blessed all the, all the days of the coming week. Oh, how a person behaves on Shabbat affects all the days of the, of the coming week. You can't go higher than Shabbat. Shabbos is the highest day. So how does it come out? How a person behaves on this Shabbos. How he makes Shabbos Kodesh. Kodesh means separate. How a person, not just how he acts, how he speaks, and how he even thinks on this Shabbos, making it separate from his weekly activities, that's how much he draws down the blessings for the entire coming week. That coming week has Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year, and therefore that will bring the maximum blessing and potential to how that person behaves in Rosh Hashanah and gives each of us a good and sweet year. Shabbat Shalom.